What's up guys? Riviera Customs. Today is about almost four weeks owning the 2019 Ram. I have left it running in my driveway a few times. Yeah, I'm very used to loud vehicles with exhaust systems. So here it is. The 2019 Muffler Delete 2019 Ram Sport Hemi. So, this thing's so quiet that I have left it running in the driveway. Um, yeah, I know it's hard, but when you're in a hurry, it's not hard to notice. It's not hard to notice when your truck's running still, but when you're in a hurry to get in. You don't realize it's running. It runs so smooth and quiet. So um, unless you get on it, you don't really hear it. So I'm not going to mention the company. Actually, I will mention the company. This way you know. B2 Fabrication is where I got this muffler delete that I'll show you in a second. I ordered stainless and they did not send me stainless. So, I'm in the process of complaining about that, but whatever. Um, I don't want to wait another six weeks like it took. I don't understand it. But uh, if you want to take the risk and get in the wrong stuff, you can order from them if you'd like. For me, it was $160 Canadian. Not bad, so I'm not really complaining. But here it is. It's a direct bolt-in. Can't really open my door. I don't have much room in here. I'll open it that far. So here it is. Here's the side that you cut. And that side has a flange. Comes with a clamp for this side. And that's all it is. And as you can see, this is not stainless steel. So I'll be writing a review on that because waiting that long just to get the wrong thing, it's bullshit. But here it is. Um, I had to crawl out of the passenger side. So I'm going to try my best to get you guys a before and after. So I'm going to set you down. Bear with me. Cell phone style. Let's see. Now, you might not see the exhaust pipes, but you'll see. You'll hear it. So that is that, you've heard it, there's other videos on there showing this exact same thing, so for my viewers, here's a video for you I guess, I don't know, I'm sure you've heard it before, but I thought it'd be a good idea to do something like this. So I'll get back to you when I'm under the truck. Alright guys, so it would have been impossible to show you. But there's a double hanger on this side, and it's that bracket right there. There's, you need deep sockets, but there's bolts right there and right there. There's two of them. 13 millimeter deep socket. We'll take those off, and when you bring it down, and then undo these two bolts on the flange half, it'll be way easier to get those boots out because it's impossible to do it under the truck so here it is it's all done you reuse your old exhaust gasket since the truck's still new the ground that goes from 
the ground uh, exhaust hanger on the frame doesn't go back on the bolt like you'll see it is just clip it onto there onto the hanger it holds nice there so you got your 13 for this bracket up here these are what was it 17 17 and a 11 16 wrench and a 17 socket with a nice strong impact gun yes it's Rockwell but it works amazing trust me now you got your 15 deep for your band clamp and uh, the original bolts The original bolts from the flange here is a 16 mil. Those bolts for the bracket, I don't know if I already told you, it's a 13 deep. You'll need a nice jack and a jack stand for safety, <coughs> a measuring tape, and a pencil to mark a line. And there you have it. I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, and a sawzall blade. Make sure it's a good one. Uh, here's the original muffler. So I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm gonna get this down on the ground. Make sure everything's tight. Put her down and then I'll give you the exhaust sound. I'll be right back. All right, and here we go. So it's back down. Now, what I, my first thoughts were, when you cut the pipe, it's gonna make the back tips all fucked up, but it won't because it has a bracket right where you cut. So once you put the pipe on, goes back to where it was right so awesome so here's an exhaust tone we'll see what the difference is here And that's that sounds pretty good uh, I don't know why they do it. it makes no sense but from where I cut to put that pipe on back the pipes are tiny I don't know why they do this it makes no sense three inch exhaust everywhere then you got like this one and a half or something all the whole Y is like a one and a half, so yeah. Don't know why they do it, but maybe that's the next upgrade. Just continue the three inch to the tips. Have true three inch all the way back. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Any comments, don't feel free to hit me up. Let me know. Thanks for watching.